the war hawks in Congress were already getting aggressively interested in Canada. They thought this is their way to get back at England for what they saw of insults to the American flag, impressment of seamen. They thought Canada would be easy pickings. What are they thinking? We've got 7.5 million people in the United States, and that's still not enough to settle all the land we have. Why are they casting an eye on Canada? We don't even have militia men who are willing to cross that border. What many had once predicted would be a matter of mere marching turns into one of the biggest blunders in American military history. America is ill-prepared to defend its western borders, and the opening years of the war are just a series of unmitigated disasters for the young nation. A Mackinac Falls, Dearborn Falls, uh, Detroit Falls with virtually uh, no resistance by the Americans. Uh, America simply cannot stand up to the military force of Great Britain during this time. Of all the forts to fall, Detroit is the most disastrous. 2,000 men surrender without firing a single musket. It is an ominous beginning to what would become a confusing and drawn-out engagement 